the Eastern Time Zone. Please check a monitor for the current local time. Hey, y'all. Uh, Hola. Let me tell you how much I love y'all that I'm in this airport. We're notes. Doing a live in Atlanta airport. Okay. In Atlanta. Hey, that's a way. Hey, Kissy. I can't see who else that is on here. Mm. The names haven't popped up yet. Y'all know Facebook is slow. Oh, it's my baby daddy. <laughs> Is mama sitting next to me listening to this? <laughs> <laughs> She's sitting next to me listening to the loud, loud on the speaker. So happy Sunday, y'all. What's going on? It is Sunday, right? I've been confused since Wednesday. Is it Sunday? Yes, it's Sunday, 7 o'clock Central Time. It is 8 o'clock Eastern Time. Um, we is tired. We is ready to go home, but our flight doesn't leave here until so 9.50, <laughs> Central Time, so 10.50 Eastern, um, but we are here, and we are live, and I think I see Diana on here, girl, 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 not have to be like, excuse me, but then she's like, y'all see us in the Brownie. Brownie, your flight to St. Louis we're going to begin to interrupt it a few times because I'm in the airport. E13. With notes. Going live. Okay. So, um, Diana finally got her life. And she is on the team. As soon as I get off live, I'm going to add you to the page. So, welcome, Diana, to the agent team. Mm -hmm. Huh? Diana? Yes. Diana. Diana. Oh, you heard Ronnie. <laughs> she said about time, girl. But yes, she is on the team now, so we will be adding her to the group as soon as I get off Diana, okay? Uh, we can't send you no emails and stuff because we're in the airport and this bag is a mess to be taken out of a uh, computer. But it's in the morning, it's on and popping, okay? But today, you know, Ronnie was on the plane texting me. Don't ask me why. But she was on the plane texting me about um, flying etiquette. So, I did a little bit of research. And y'all, again, if I have to pause for a second, it's because they make an announcement. We are at the Atlanta airport on our way home from our... How many days have been? Since Wednesday. How many days that is? I don't know. I'm so confused. I've been thinking it was Monday or whatever. So, we've been here since Wednesday. So, um, but we're talking about flying etiquette. Okay, so um, some people just don't know, and it's okay. So, but when you do know, so after I finish this, y'all shouldn't be doing this stuff no more. Okay, so these are ten flying etiquette tips. So number one, attention, always... Karen Gilmore, Anthony <laughs> Holka, and Caitlin See? Rainey. Find out the boarding call for flight twenty-seven ninety-three. Hold the line, please. New Orleans. I need a boarding call out of the door smart. Yeah, I see that because I can't. I don't want to scream. Okay. So, there's always, um, you know, question about who gets what armrest. But, unfortunately, if you um, are on the, the aisle seat or the window seat, USOL, you get that out arm or you get that window arm. And the middle person gets both of the armrest in the middle. So you're going to have to fold your arms or put both arms on one side. I don't know, but you don't get the middle arm rest. You don't get to put two arms in there because the middle person is already squished up. So they get to get both armrests in the middle. Okay? Both armrests. So if you want to get both armrests, go ahead and get squished up in the middle seat. And you can you have, <laughs> they are yours. Okay? So whoever sits in the middle gets both of the middle armrests. Okay? Number two. Um, plate your carry-on bag. So I ain't gonna tell y'all the whole story, but you should be placing your bags over your own seat because um, why would you want to either like put it all the way in the front where you have to wait or someone hasn't gotten that seat or something like that or go in the back? If you if everybody put their carry-on bag over their own seat, it won't be no issues. Put. Your, and then don't come on there with 17 pounds of carry-on. Like, put your carry-on bag over you 
over your you know over your seat and that is the appropriate place to put it um, we've had some issues with bags in overhead bins and so you know yeah put your bag in the overhead bin over your own seat that's number two listen when you get on this plane before you get on you know while you sitting here while you sitting down in the um gate area you should be getting your stuff together right if you have snacks or your cell phone and those type of things that you want to have accessible to you when you get on the plane get those out get those out and put them somewhere where you can reach them before you get on do not get on these people airplanes standing in the aisle getting stuff out your bag in that overhead bin don't do it that's so rude you got the line backed up all the way down the jetway because you got to get chips your cell phone charger um your neck pillow all this out of your carry-on no have this stuff available before you get on the plane so that it is um, easily accessible when you get on and you can go get out of the aisle okay it's just courtesy courtesy okay number i think there's number four one two three yeah number four i have to read my notes oh some of this might this one right here some of you guys might be upset about this don't be reclining that seat. Keep that seat up. If you want, especially, okay, first of all, this flight from Chicago, well, we're in Atlanta. Atlanta to Chicago is about an hour and 30 minutes long, right? Why you gotta recline? You should not recline your seat. If you just have to recline, if that's just, if you just hell bent on reclining your seat, make sure that you're turning around and saying excuse me i'm going to recline my seat you don't know if the person behind you has put a drink on their um tray if they have their computer and then here you go flying in their back in their seat and hit a drink flying over their computer flying over or what else whatever else they may have on that tray so if you just have to recline your seat please be courteous turn around and say hey you know i'm about to recline my seat i just wanted to make sure that you knew that so that if they do have a drink or something on that tray that they can remove it and if everybody reclining like everybody gonna be in somebody's lap like the and you know the seats don't recline a whole lot but it makes a difference if especially if someone is you know working on a flight with their computer their laptop or and have snacks or even have a kid behind you that um is sitting there with their you know tablet and drink that will make a difference so if you're going to and if you just have to just be courteous and turn around and um, let them know before you do it okay number I don't remember I think it's five personal hygiene child don't listen what, just take a shower don't come on there with 17 types of perfume you got to spray the poopery. You got to have... Hold on. They call Contavious Brownie. Your flight. They call Contavious Brownie. They call Contavious Brownie. They call Contavious Brownie. You on this last. Your flight finna go. But personal hygiene. Um, it's in... Thank you, Karen. Um, I don't even have no makeup. But I just got on lashes. Thank you. Um, but... It's, it's important and then like spraying perfumes and things on the plane don't do it because you don't know what people are allergic to um what may set someone's allergies or whatever off so you know keep that in mind again it's all about courtesy because we all this plane with recycled air and um listen and if you just i'm sorry i uh, i love my dog our dog passed away a year ago um, we had a Shih Tzu, and we loved her. We took her on vacations, but when we did, we drove. Okay. But, you know, if it's not necessary, leave Fido at the house. Because some people are allergic. And it can be problematic. Like, somebody can pass straight out. Like, I am definitely allergic to cats. And I've seen people, like, with the cats in the container. But, okay. And don't be trying to get these little fake, um, what's those things? Um emotional support animal certificates 
don't do that because that's that's wrong. If you need, if you have a, um, if you have a um, service animal, that's one thing. But if you have this emotion, emotional support, like right now, you're only able to take on um, many miniature miniature horses. We're not even gonna talk. We're not gonna. We're not gonna talk about no miniature horse on no plane because I'm having a whole attitude. Okay, you can take miniature horses, dogs, and cats. Okay, but you know, make sure that these are service animals and not emotional support animals because you want to take them on the beach with you for your Instagram pictures. No, okay, number six or seven. I think I put two in one. Okay, let me see. I don't have my glasses on. I think it's seven. Uh, oh, your feet does not belong on the back of these people furniture or on their armrests. Do not have your feet up on the back of these seats. You're on these international flights. Did y'all see that video? Yes, Tanisha, miniature horse. Did y'all see the video where the person was changing the, 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 inner, the channel on the movie with their feet? Now you just ridiculous. <laughs> You, they were changing the channel with their feet. Um, a lady sat next to me on a Dubai flight um, with no shoes on. She got in her chair Indian style. Let me tell y'all something. Grandma was finna get it. Her daughter saw the look on my face and she's like, oh, her feet not gonna touch you. I know because you need to move them. You, your feet don't belong on the, I know your mama taught you better than that. Don't put your feet on these people's furniture. Keep your feet on the floor. If you have to put your feet up, your legs should be crossed or something, or you need to buy the whole row where you can put your legs across and put your feet up that way. But you should not be putting your feet on the back of the seat, on the armrest, on somebody else's chair. That's just horrible. Horrible. Okay? Let me turn the page. Hold on. Tanisha, you know people is messed. Um, uh, make sure that you are bringing your Lysol wipes, your nice wipes, whatever. Hold the line. I told y'all. Hmm. Oh, my mother said you can't hear it that much. So I can try to keep talking. If y'all can't hear me, let me know. Um, make sure you're bringing your disinfectant wipes. Do not get it. This is another item that you need to have readily available when you get on the flight wipe those seats the seat belts the armrests the tray tables if you on the window seat you need to wipe that window the plastic around the window if you're going to be leaning on it um the, the seat in front of you the headrest on your seat you need to be cleaning that stuff down because people is down right nasty if you're putting stuff in that seat back pocket, you need to be cleaning that out because people are just disgusting. There, it's just nasty. Make sure that you are having um, your sanitizer wipes. Okay. Okay, this one is again might step on toes. Don't get on these people airplane with your sandwich with extra onions, um, green peppers, um, sautéed onions. All, don't nobody want to smell that for four hours. Get you some chips or something that don't have no scent to it. Or eat before you get on that plane. You should not be coming on there with oxtails and rice. And had a whole plane smelling a mess. No. That is like a no-no. We went on a tour in London. And our tour operator, our tour guy on the bus was like, you can bring only cold foods on this bus. There are no hot foods because don't nobody want to smell that for our entire day of touring. So keep in mind, like you want to get you a Subway sandwich, remove the onions. No onions, no whatever else that have a scent on it, okay? Keep it off, girl. <laughs> keep it off, man. Listen, I'm telling y'all that my mama is sitting next to me and commenting on this one. <laughs> And this is another one. Um, people have this um, this hang up about people bringing kids on flights. Kids fly too. Okay, kids fly too, and we can't. Um, people can't control um, 
with um, takeoff and landing, the kids don't know how to um, control the popping of their ears. As adults, we know we need to yarn and do things like that or chew gum. Kids don't chew gum. Um, you And some parents don't know that they can have a bottle, that they can suck on the bottle. So don't get aggravated with kids that are um, obviously in pain when there is takeoff and um, landing. You know, we have to be... Um, sensitive and understanding that now if a kid on the flight for five hours constant crying maybe you can go and offer support and say hey there's something i can do um maybe they didn't know to bring all the snacks in the counter in the cabinet just bring all of them you don't know what they gonna want we took our grandson with us to new orleans we had any kind of snack we could think of and um you know he just kept telling like hey i want snacks he didn't cry uh really except for when we were about to land he got a little aggravated because his ears were popping. Um, but coming back, he was a, a lot better. But um, just be, you know, be a little patient because some people are like, oh my God, kids getting on the plane. Please understand, you see me? When my grandson gets a little bit older, you, every time you see me, you're probably going to see him. And some people might fight you for trying to talk about their kids. <laughs> But trying to be like, oh my God, kids on the plane. Yes, kids on the plane. Because you don't take your win, don't mean we ain't taking ours. Okay? Um, and that is it. That was 10. If you have questions, please ask them. Again, we in the airport. So let me go back. I didn't even get a chance to read the comments while I was going. Um, wish I could have met. Oh, yes, CL. We'll be back. We have a, um, our business partner is here in Atlanta, so we'll be back frequently. Um, let's see. Oh, she said, wash your assets before you get on this plane. Baby, listen here. Thank you, auntie. Yeah, listen. Uh, I'm just trying to see if you have a Leave Fido and Fifi at home. I'm de yes, I am definitely allergic to cats. Um, Tanisha. Look on these. Um, look online. The airlines uh, allow. Those are the three things that they allow on planes now. Miniature horses. If I get on the plane and this horse is up on this airplane, and then I gotta sit. I'm not sitting next to no horse, ma'am. Ma'am, I'm not sitting next to you and your horse. I'm just not about to. So, somebody getting off me or the horse. Somebody has to get off. Hey, do you hear me? Um, yeah, and leave the oxtails and rice at the house because nobody want to smell that for their five hour flight um i still don't know because none of that works for me um i don't know what that means the bottom uh, babies when you were talking about the babies and what to give them when they uh oh oh you said oh that's what you're saying when babies are crying mm -hmm. um even still even like um like get us something with a straw um so they can suck like, cause that's keeping their ears, like the motion, give them a piece of candy if they're old enough to have um, like um, peppermint or something like that, um, or something to chew on. Cause it's keeping that, um, you know, that that movement. Like we're able to, um, like we're able to yarn and swallow. So anything that would like cause them to like do the swallowing motion or something like that, that that's help, helpful for them until they're old enough and you can say, you know, yawn or something like that. So those are some things that you can do. Uh, it was a nine year old yelling at their parents for hours that made me want to throw some. Now that kind of stuff, that's different. That's totally different. And you nine years old, you know, like, listen, that's different. And the flight attendant should have um, addressed that because, um, you know, I understand people pay their money um, for comfort and convenience and things like that. But um, it, sh it comes to a point where the flight attendant should be saying something for something for um, some situations. Okay. Um, but that's what we wanted to talk to you guys about today. Just because Ronnie had someone sitting next to her on the flight here spraying perfume. Like if you ain't take a shower before you get on the plane, that perfume is not about to help you on this plane ma'am i need you to take a shower and stop spraying all that stuff okay um but if you guys have not uh noticed if you did not see our post about 
about our new venture, Travel Success Academy, with um, myself, Ronnie, and Shantaria. Um, you know, Ronnie and I own Ladies and Luggage. Shantaria is the owner of um, Travel Divas. Um, we are partnering for an amazing um, new venture that is going to change the travel industry. So, if you haven't already, you can sign up our email if you're interested in, in being a travel professional or if you're already a travel professional and you just need um, some help getting to the next level in your business. It's for beginners to experts. Uh, you know, sign up for the email. You can go back in our post. Um, I think we posted it on Thursday. And... Um, Get on the email list, and you'll get on. You'll start getting emails if if they haven't already. Um, start getting emails. You will in, within the next few days. Okay. Um, the popping in the ears. I tried gum, yarning, and swallowing, and I still feel like my ears are going to buzz hours after I'm off the plane. You know what? Sometimes it does. When we got to the Maldives, um, my ears would not pop for like three days. It was so. It was so crazy. Um, yeah, it was so crazy. Like, I don't know what happened. And then it just automatically um, cleared up on its own. I don't know. But maybe talk to an ear, nose, and throat specialist if um, it's like a consistent thing. Because maybe there's some type of um, issue with drainage for you. So kind of um, see if that, um, that would help. Because they can give you. I know my husband had to... Um, do something special because he had those issues for a long time thank you Tania yes we are partnering like that's why we're out here so much since February um, getting this together and it's, it's a task but we are like super freaking excited about it absolutely we are I'm ready for the travel entry yes come on love travels yes get on that email list because um, like this is off the chain. We're starting out with another host agency, but when I say there's going to be everything from coaching to master classes to retreats, um, which is what um, the industry now calls conferences. We've been to the the you know typical conference, and that's not like that's not what we're looking to offer. We know that that is not what the travel industry needs. What's going on? So we are um, giving the industry what we feel as professionals in the industry. Um, would be conducive to building your business, okay? So make sure you sign up um, for the email list, okay? Are there any questions, y'all, about etiquette and our trips? If you have not signed up, we are going to, um, we have, oh, we have so much going on. Go to the website, ladiesandluggage.com. Check out what's new. We have our um, Thanksgiving uh, football trip from Chicago. If you want to meet us in Detroit, you can, but we are taking the bus from Chicago. We're going over, um, we're going to have to go to the game for Thanksgiving. Then we're going to be going over to Canada for the day. Um, all kind of stuff going on there. Um, but make sure you check out our website. We're um, getting everything up and loaded within the next couple of weeks that we have for the winter months. Along with all of our cruises, I think we have three, maybe four. Um, we did switch out our birthday trip from Hawaii to a cruise. So those details will be on the page uh, this week as well. In essence, those of you who are, those of you who are, waiting for this essence and the overwhelming request to um, have a bus from Chicago um, we're getting that together and we'll have packages ready there are going to be two hotels we're going to have our first first hotel is going to be the Hilton Riverside and then we'll have an overflow hotel which is the same one we the same overflow we had this year which was the Hilton um, Airport let me tell y'all, those Hilton Riverside rooms are going to go in the blink of an eye. So you have got to be on that email list so that you will not miss it. Okay? Because they are going to go fast. So um, not that there's anything wrong with the Hilton um, Airport because we, I actually personally love the hotel. And we will have shuttle back and forth between... Um, the the hotel and like the general area of where everything is um Poldra street and um in that area where you can get from to and from the convention center and or the superdome so there will be shuttle service to get back and forth for that but um that information will be coming out soon too 
Um, again, if you have questions, you can email us, info at ladiesandluggage.com. Go to our website, send us a chat message. We always make sure we respond to those. And what we got coming up this week? I think I'm home. What's today? The 4th? So we're home for 19 days before we're gone again. <laughs> That's the longest that we have been home since March, February. So we're home for 19 days and then we're off to New York. We're off to New York for the weekend for our very first stop on our 50 States of Sisterhood series. It's going to be dope. We have um, um, access to the Apollo tour and we're going to go out for food and shopping and we're going to Ellis Island to actually touch the Statue of Liberty. I've seen it with my eyes but I've never been on the island before. So, um, yes, that's coming up at the end of the month. If there are no questions, we're going to go. And uh, I don't know what we're going to do. Chill. We've been at the airport forever and a day. But I, we're going to be boarding our flight in about an hour. But thank you guys for joining us. And we will see you next week.